welcome back to another video. I'm Janelle and today I'm showing you how to make five lunch recipes for work or school. They're all packable, they're meal prep friendly and great for weight loss. I wanted to make meals that were delicious, nourishing and filling yet low in calories. I think I nailed this. So if this sounds like your jam, make sure you like this video and subscribe below and let's just jump right into the recipes. We're gonna start with this double tomato and basil pasta salad. Why I enjoy this one so much is that it takes hardly any effort to whip up, it's really filling, especially if you're using a legume pasta made from chickpeas, and it's straight up delicious. If you're trying to keep things low calorie, make sure you use canned artichoke hearts and olives instead of the ones contained in an oil base. Brine is best. Same goes with the sun-dried tomatoes. I buy the ones that come dried in a package instead of in oil. The combination of the fresh basil, garlic, balsamic vinegar, and sun-dried tomatoes makes this pasta salad so flavorful. As you can see, all you have to do is throw all the ingredients in a big bowl and combine. It's that easy and of course this pasta salad is amazing for meal prep as you can pack it up for lunches throughout the week. If you want the meal to go even further, you can serve it up on a bed of salad greens and add any other fresh veggies you like to the mix. Because we're not using oil in the recipe, the noodles will dry out a little faster in the fridge, so a little tip for you is just before you eat it, stir in one to two tablespoons of lemon juice, balsamic vinegar, or just water to help soften up the noodles again. I eat sushi bowls probably once a week, if not more, because they're just so dang yummy and filling, yet pretty low in calories. You honestly can use whatever kind of rice you'd like, but for these, my preference is sticky brown rice. Then I add some salad greens for some extra bulk and one shredded carrot. For some plant-based protein, I usually like to use firm tofu, and if I'm pretty short on time when I'm making these or didn't really have time to meal prep, I won't worry about marinating it. I'll just use soy sauce or hot sauce or both to flavor the whole bowl once it's finished. Here I'm using some quick pickled red cabbage, but you can also just use raw shredded cabbage too. Then I'll usually add about a quarter of an avocado for just a very small amount of healthy fats and a generous sprinkle of green onion. Soy sauce is truly a universal liquid seasoning and I use it in so many types of recipes, but obviously here it adds the perfect flavor while adding practically no calories at all. Smoked kelp is totally optional, but dang, if you can find it, it is a sushi bowl's best friend. I'm also using some sushi nori, but just cutting it up into reasonably sized little shreds to add just a little flavor of the sea, cause you know, sushi. And lastly, just some sesame seeds to top it all off. And there you go, a big, delicious, filling, easy to make sushi bowl. It's truly a fabulous lunch that stores well in the fridge for three to five days. If you've never made one before, you definitely have to try a sushi bowl. I love me curried anything, and I also love baked veggies, so these two loves of mine go hand in hand. All you need for this easy recipe is two sheet pans, four to six different veggies, and some curry spices. Start by chopping your veggies into bite-sized pieces. Here I'm using yams, carrots, Brussels sprouts, red onion, bell peppers, broccoli, and eggplant, but really you can use whatever you have on hand. Transfer the veggies to your sheet pans and just to help your spices stick, we're going to use some soy sauce or tamari by just lightly coating each piece. This is one of my favorite low calorie hacks when baking veggies instead of tossing them in oil. Next, we're going to sprinkle some curry powder over the veggies. I used about one tablespoon per sheet pan of veggies, but feel free to use more or less depending on your spice tolerance. If you don't have curry powder, then you can definitely make your own blend. I will just leave a quick recipe below in the video description for you to check out after. Use your hands to really get in there and make sure each veggie is evenly coated in the curry powder and then pop the trays in the oven to bake for about 40 to 45 minutes on 450 degrees Fahrenheit, flipping the veggies over halfway. Once they're done, just plate them up. I recommend using the 50-50 plate, which is half of your plate being starches like the yams, as they will really keep you full, and the other half non-starchy vegetables, which are all the other veggies we cooked. I'm adding some rice as well, and to complete the meal, I added a few tablespoons of homemade cilantro hummus for a little bit of plant-based protein, plus a little extra cilantro for garnish. 
I am truly obsessed with these curried baked veggies. This meal is so incredibly simple to make, but it's so comforting and delicious and filling, and it's very nourishing. Make sure you let me know in the comments below if you end up making some for yourself and what veggies you ended up using. Sharing is caring. If I can hold it in one hand while I edit videos in the other, then it is my kind of lunch. Start by adding a can of rinsed chickpeas into a saucepan and toss them in some Mediterranean-inspired herbs. I used garlic powder, thyme, basil, and oregano. Drizzle about one and a half tablespoons of tahini plus the juice of half a lemon and stir it all once more to combine. Then lightly saute the chickpeas on medium heat for about 10 minutes until they're slightly golden. Grab yourself a gluten-free tortilla or whole wheat if you're not gluten sensitive and add about a third of a cup of the chickpeas into the center. Then add some diced red onion for a little crunch, some halved grape tomatoes, de-pitted Kalamata olives, vegan feta cheese. I personally love the Violife brand. It is so yummy. And lastly, some salad greens. Pro tip for when it comes to wrapping gluten-free tortillas, warming them in the microwave for 20 seconds helps them to not rip. I find that when they're cold, they are fragile and they rip easily, but once warmed up, they become soft and pliable again. Now you can go right ahead and dig in, or you can be extra fancy by throwing your chickpea wrap in a panini press for a couple of minutes just to give the tortilla a little extra crunch on the edges. These chickpea wraps are hands down one of my most delicious wraps I've ever made and the flavors kind of remind me of a Greek salad, but it's way heartier and more filling. You can make these the night before work or school or even a few days in advance if you want to prepare your meals for the week. I am literally drooling on my keyboard looking at these because they are so freaking good. I'm not kidding. Serve it up with some hummus and veggies and you've got yourself a seriously banging lunch that is nutritious, filling, and low in calories. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Last up is this roasted autumn veggie salad. Not only does it serve up some mad autumn vibes with those warm and cozy hues, it serves up a boatload of comforting fall flavor. Grab yourself some beets, carrots, and Brussels sprouts and chop them into bite-sized pieces. Throw them on a couple of baking trays with some salt and pepper and bake for 40 minutes until golden and fork tender. Add some salad greens to a large bowl and liberally top with those roasted autumn veggies. I'd say about half a cup of each is a good place to start. I added some roasted pumpkin seeds just because the flavors work so well with the veggies, but pecans would also be delicious here too. Add a little handful of dried cranberries for a punch of tartness and sweet flavor and drizzle some creamy tahini over everything because tahini makes just about everything taste better. Lastly, we are going to drizzle some balsamic vinegar for a bit of sweetness and acidity to complement the veggies really nicely. Is that not the most beautiful salad you have ever seen in your whole dang life? It's got crisp and crunch, sweet and earthy, creamy and zingy, all in one delicious bowl. It makes me just want to cozy up under a blanket with a good book and watch the colorful leaves fall off the trees in the wind. Because fall is the best season and I am willing to fight you on it. Just kidding, but not really. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you loved it and that you're inspired to make some delicious, healthy lunches for work or school that are also great for weight loss. If you like this video, make sure you like it and subscribe below and make sure you check out some of my other videos for meal prepping, weight loss, and what I eat in a day to help you get an idea of what a vegan eats in real life. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.